Labour Prime Minister. The Prime Minister and the Eldoret North lawmaker have been engaging each other on the political podium outside the August House as the race to State House gathers momentum. But their political rivalry found its way into the August House during the weekly Prime Minister's Question Time. Ruto fired the first salvo when he questioned Odinga's position on presidential contenders who opposed the passage of the new constitution during the August 2010 referendum. The Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, needs to tell the country whether the rhetoric that he is involved in is it campaign propaganda that he is distributing for his own campaign or is it government policy? How do you expect someone who opposed it to implement it? This is what I've been saying. So I've been telling the people that uh, don't vote for the people who oppose the constitution because you want this constitution to be implemented. It can only be implemented by those who believe truly in it. The yes and no contest triggered yet another showdown on the fate of four Kenyan suspects whose crimes against humanity charges at the International Criminal Court have since been confirmed. Odinga has all along avoided a confrontation with Ruto and Deputy Prime Minister Huru Kenyatta, two of his potential rivals in the forthcoming race to State House, but whose presidential ambitions hung in the balance after the ICC pre-trial chamber confirmed post-election violence charges against them. Speaker, it is not Rael Odinga who took the envelope to ICC. It is this house, at the instigation, Mr. Speaker, of the people who are known, who Mr. Speaker took Kenyans to be tried at the ICC. And it is on record that the ODM said they want us, those who have been uh, taken to the Hague, to be tried in the Hague, and that there was no court in Kenya that would try us. That letter is a matter of public record. Was that letter issued with the permission of the Prime Minister? Was it issued by the Secretary General with the permission of the Prime Minister or with his knowledge or with his instruction? Acrimony deepened even further when the Prime Minister took a swipe at the prayer rallies organized by Kenyatta and Ruto and their political allies in various counties after they were indicted by the Hague Beast Court. Speaker, we are praying, but nobody has gone out in the public to pray for the victims of the post-election violence. Who has stopped the Prime Minister? from praying for other people. If indeed he has a heart, you know, if indeed he has a heart, he, sh he should, if he doesn't want to engage in the prayers, he should just keep his peace. Order, order. This, this matter really must come to an end. The bare knuckle showdown in the August House could be an indicator of the high voltage politics that Kenyans will be treated to as the race to succeed President Kibaki at State House gathers momentum. Francis Gashore, Citizen Live at 9.